For today's Cyber CEO episode, my cyber backers, Angel and Val, I couldn't ask for better. They truly are what make our team great. They do so much behind the scenes. They contribute. I feel like I actually have these amazing teammates. I show up better because of my cyber backers, because I know their success is now my success and vice versa. And it's amazing where it can take your business. The sky's the limit. And the best part is, is they're in it with me. It's allowed us to deliver a higher quality experience, not only to our real estate clients, but to our agents. What Angel and Val do, not only do they help take care of the external social media needs and communication and marketing, we also have them highly invested in the communication of the team and they live it and breathe it and are truly a part of it. I don't think I could have ever anticipated that being such an impact, but it has fundamentally changed and strengthened our culture for the positive. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another great day here at Cyberbacker. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show. Anna, how are you doing today? Hi, thanks so much. I'm happy to be here. There we go. We're very excited to have you on the show, of course, to talk to you more about your experience with virtual leverage through Cyberbacker. But um, before we head on to that, um, I need your help here real quick. Um, we have a lot of listeners who are business owners. So can you tell us something about yourself and what you do, Anna? Yeah, absolutely. My name is Anna McKeel. I'm located out of the Denver, Colorado area, and I'm the Director of Strategic Content and Marketing for Elite Home Partners, which is the largest team in Colorado. Oh, exciting, exciting. So um, how long have you been in the world of real estate though, Anna? I've been in real estate for five years. I started off as the receptionist at the front desk of a Keller Williams brokerage, and I earned myself the opportunity to help... um, all of the amazing partners of a large team, and I couldn't be happier. Gosh, right there. So five years in the business, a lot of experience right there. Now, um, how about working with people who are virtual, virtual partners, just like your cyber backers? Is this a first time for you? It was a first time. And really, you don't quite know what to expect. I had seen Cyberbacker at certain seminars and workshops, and we had talked to other large teams across the country just about their experience. And so I know for as us as a leadership team, we were really curious, but we really didn't know how to get started. And so, yeah, this is the first time working with Cyberbacker and virtual leverage as well. There we go. So now, um, how long so far being partnered with Cyberbacker? So I've officially, our team has been um, partnered with Cyberbacker for a few years. My department specifically in marketing has been partnered with Cyberbacker for a year. A year. All right. So a lot of experience right there now working with people who are virtual. So what was the biggest change though? Because I know in the real estate world, we're all kind of like before the pandemic, I mean, it was like face-to-face, a lot of transactions were face-to-face. Now everything's going more virtual. So was it a big change for you at all personally? I think it was a lot more of just challenging myself. And I think we oftentimes are, we find ourselves in this ego driven mindset of I'm the only one that can do my job. I'm the only one that can do this. And if it's not me, it's just not getting done. And when you challenge that and recognizing that that's kind of a false mindset, you realize very quickly, especially in a virtual world and where we're going, how easy it is to get into these amazing relationships with virtual leverage and have these incredible partnerships that just truly accelerate your results more than I can say. Absolutely agree with you there, 100%. Now, how about you personally, though? What were your first thoughts about the time when you first heard about virtual leverage anyway? You know, I wasn't really sure what they, what kind of could happen and what wasn't. So, of course, I had this level of hesitation, but Mm -hmm. what I loved about it most is I knew that 
I was going to either determine the success of that relationship or not. So it really asked me to level up as a person and as a leader. And I'm so grateful for that because I show up better because of my cyber backers, because I know their success is now my success and vice versa. And when you put in the time and yes, just get over that first little hurdle, that first little bit of hesitation, because that's all it really is. And then you get into these amazing partnerships and it's amazing where it can take your business. Again, and imagine already a lot of success. The way you talk about your cyberbackers now, imagine just a year in the partnership now with you and your cyberbackers. Imagine what you and your cyberbackers can do, let's say, in another year's time, right? Oh yeah, no, absolutely. The the sky's the limit. And the best sure. part is, is they're in it with me, right? Our success as a team, they're just as excited when we became the number one team in Colorado. We had our own little mini celebration. We do kind of a a uh, huddle first thing in the morning to kind of set priorities, get our mindset right. We talk about what we're grateful for. And then we celebrate the wins from the previous week or the previous month. And to watch them feel like it's their team as well is one of the most inspiring things. I, I don't think I could have ever imagined that to happen. And it's one of the things I look forward to the most each and every day. Gosh, imagine that number one team in Colorado now also being a part of your cyber backers as well, of their success as well, being top team in Colorado right there. Now, talk to me more about your cyber backers. Though. What's it like working with them every day? Oh my gosh, it is absolutely amazing. My cyber backers, Angel and Val, I couldn't ask for better. They truly are what make our team great. They do so much behind the scenes. They show up to the meetings, they contribute. I feel like I actually have these amazing teammates. Um, and so what we do every week is that we just make sure that we're in alignment with what our expectations are for the week. I touch base with them on what do they need, right? As much as it's about what I need them to do for the day, I'm checking in with them to make sure, you know, did grandma have a birthday yesterday? And so we take a moment and really make it about the people. And when we do that, they go to work and they produce the highest quality results I could have ever imagined. And I'm so grateful. I don't know what I'd do without them. Gosh, the way you just, I'm sorry. I'm, the way you talk about your cyber bags, it's like you've been working with them for not just a year. It just feels like more than that. The way you talk yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, specifically about tasks though, how do they help out in the business every week? Yeah. So really, I think it it came from onboarding and even prior to me, getting my cyber backers hired. I went into the process knowing they're only as successful as I am organized. So I went into the interview process already with their 30, 60, 90 pre-developed because I wanted them hitting the ground running. And I wanted to know they knew exactly what to expect every day. So the tasks look like they have a morning check down that I have established for them that they complete and they execute on their time. It allows me to get going in the morning, yeah. knowing that the tasks that show up every single day and every single week, they have those managed at the highest level. The tasks that they do are everything from building out MailChimp newsletters to text message campaigns, PowerPoint presentations. They're amazing in Canva. So if I need a graphic built for an upcoming training or coaching webinar, they're building out first drafts, including monthly mailers that we send to our database. I mean, really anything and everything. And here's the thing. I allow them to be growth-minded. I present them the opportunity. I set the goal and the vision for that project. And then I allow them to be creative. I allow them to do what they do best. And then we come back for a feedback session. And that feedback session is so powerful because first drafts, especially in marketing and content, if you're not familiar yeah. with it, first drafts are the hardest. And they take on some of the hardest work and they're ne no one's ever going to get it right the first time. But when you have a good feedback loop and open communication and celebrating the positive things that came out of that original build out, then we just continue to accelerate. And so that's kind of what they do on a daily basis. Really, if it's anything in graphic design, communication, email templates, mm -hmm. I'm giving it to them and they do a fantastic job. Gosh, just I think that's a great suggestion right there for anyone out there who's working with cyberbacks. I think the feedback sessions, those are very important because it not just um, critiques the work, but it also strengthens the bond that you have with your cyberback as well, because um, it's like a, a healthy way of exchanging ideas too, right? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm all about celebrating the little wins. If I want them to get better, I have to recognize what's going really well. That was an amazing effort on that graphic. I loved the colors that you used. You totally knocked it out of the park. And let's go ahead and adjust this one piece. You can watch their face light up. They go, oh my gosh, I did something great. And now I know exactly what she's expecting. And they go to work even harder. Gosh, great way to build on that partnership. And of course, a trust between you and your cyber backers as well. Now, great communication at that. Now, talk to me more about that. Communication. How important is that in any partnership, maybe virtual or not, you think, Anna? To be honest, your relationship is only as good as your communication. I love that. So, I mean, we we run a massive team. There's a thousand things that needed to be done and they all needed to be done yesterday, right? And so it's really easy for me as a director to go, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time to, you know, jump on a Zoom with Angel or Val and give them feedback or, oh, I, you know, I can just push that off to the end of the day. You kind of get in your mind and think, I don't have time for that. But oftentimes you can carve out five minutes to make sure that person can continue to help move your business forward. And it's the best thing I ever did because a quick Zoom meeting that can clear up priorities has made a fundamental difference in how we communicate because now they're they're willing to ask me questions, right? And we keep the dialogue open. We are in partnership. We're not in a top-down relationship, Absolutely. if that makes sense. Absolutely agree with you there. Again, just the open and clear communication is very important. I think especially during the beginning because you're still getting used to working with each other anyway. And then after that, after you've gone through that, and I think it's going to be easier for them. It's just, just like you, how you described it. Now, um, how about trust though? How do you build trust with someone who that you're working with? Who is virtual? It's like your cyber back. Yeah. Well, I, I take the time to get to know them, right? Trust is built when you invest in the person. So I've learned things about um, family cultures, what their, what the area uh, where they live, what it looks like, what they do on family vacations, what their hobbies are when they get a new cat, right? Like all of those things are what build trust, Right. And when I'm willing to kind of show my human side as well, right? When I, yeah. when Angel says she has a cat and I say, well, I have a dog, even though they're different animals, we're connecting. And it's not just about work. It's not come in, do the things, do the things, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Right. We've got to take the time to make it a personal connection. And that's really where the trust is built. So we take one question every single day that we meet. And it has nothing to do with work. It has everything to do with what's important to them. And then you can tell everyone just kind of, right, their shoulders relax. Everyone kind of becomes a little bit more in tune with the actual workflow of the day. I love that idea right there. Just being a person to your cyber backer, because imagine they're already thousands of miles away from you. And if you treat them like a robot, then I don't think it's going to work out anyway, right? Exactly. And I know that if there is ever something that maybe gets misunderstood or maybe it doesn't get executed at the, at the highest level that I perceive it needs to be executed at, I look at myself and go, you get to show up better and be a better communicator to them because your result is a direct reflection of how I show up. So I really take a lot of personal responsibility and accountability in our relationship with my cyber backers because I know their success hinges on my clarity. And so I think they appreciate that. And it allows them to kind of show up, get curious, have questions, and be more creative as a result. Absolutely agree with you there. It's a mutual partnership, right? It's like helping yes. them out succeed and vice versa. They help you to succeed as well. That's why it's a team concept, one team, one family concept, right? Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself. Now, one last question while I still have you here. You've been working with Angel and Val for a year now. What's been the biggest impact of virtual leverage in the business so far in the past year? It's allowed us to deliver a higher quality experience, not only to our real estate clients, but to our agents. You don't become the number one team if you are not taking care of your agents at a higher level. So what Angel and Val do, not only do they help take care of the external social media needs and communication and marketing, we also have them highly invested in the communication of the team. If we're in a team meeting and someone has their first closing, they're also the first two to hop in the chat box and go, congratulations, we're so excited for you. So they understand 
understand that part of their role is also allowing the culture to live through them as well. And they live it and breathe it and are truly a part of it. I don't think I could have ever anticipated that being such an impact, but it has fundamentally changed and strengthened our culture for the positive. Already a lot of success in just a year's time. Imagine what you and your cyberbackers can do in, let's say, another year, two more years together. Now, well, in fact, I forgot to tell you, Angel and Val are going to be able to listen and watch this, of course, once we have this online. So before we go, would you want to give them a quick shout out or any messages you'd like to give out to Amanda? Absolutely. First, shout out to Angel. You are an absolute rock star. I don't know what I would do without you. I am so grateful to have you in my life. And Val, same thing. You hit the ground running more than I have ever seen another person. Your work ethic, your diligence in getting tasks executed, absolutely knock it out of the park every day. And I'm very grateful to call you guys my teammates. Here we go. Now, we are very, very excited to see the continued growth and success of this partnership. And again, Anna, thank you very much for dropping by. I had fun talking to you today. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. I look forward to next time. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.